What up, movie disciples and good people at YouTube? Your boy Movie Messiah here with a teaser trailer reaction for Morbius. Now, I put the teaser in quotes because the trailer looks damn long. Uh, and this is a movie in the, I guess, Sony Marvel Universe from them trying to do the Venom, so they're doing a, a Morbius movie. And if you don't know Morbius, he's a scientist who has like a rare blood disease and he ends up turning himself into a vampire of some sorts so uh starring jared leto great actor let's see what he does with this wasn't too thrilled with venom so i'm trying to figure out how to do a morbius movie and still not have spider-man you know they're trying to put him back in there it's a lot going on don't know i'm really with it you know, like i said venom was nah it was all right it was not something i watched apparently a lot of people did so let's see if this has the same effect with morbius before we do though make sure you follow me on social media twitter and instagram follow your boy over there and like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Michael, I've known you since you were a child. In your hands, you do. You always have. If there's an answer to your disease, you'll find it. Don't call this, but all right. I should have died years ago. No. Why am I still here if not to fix this? I have a rare blood disease, and I'm running out of time. This can be my last chance. You're up to something. What is it? That's not exactly legal. I want to see you get hurt more than you already have. This would be a cure. A bunch of bats, fam? Okay. What? At what cost? Really? That's how you're selling it? I went from dying. I feel like more alive than ever. Increased strength and speed. The ability to use echolocation. And an overpowering urge to consume blood. We allowed to go to fix something that's broken. Until the remedy <laughs> is worse Gina, than the disease. Like no, same font from Venom. Michael Morby. Got tired of doing the whole good guy thing, huh? What's up, Doc? They're trying to be slick. Throwing in there from the studio that brought you Spider-Man Homecoming and Spider-Man Far From Home. You ain't slick. Y'all just had your names on it. Y'all really ain't do shit with it, all right? <laughs> it's gotta be real. Venom? Oh, y'all. Not gonna fool me, though. I'm losing my mind right now, even thinking about it. So I'm working on Everybody's losing their minds. All right. I'm confused. Don't know what to think. It looked all right. I'm a Messiah score. I'm reading this. I'm not reading Madden Classic. A new, huh? A new special right now. I guess. I don't know what to think about it. Just throwing the Beethoven trick me with that. I don't know. I'm indifferent about it. I'm really glad I'm about to have one of my friends to talk to about this, see what they thought about this. We chop it up. See, figure out what we can get from this. All right, let's hear from Mr. Ryan Kirshner and see what he thinks about this. What, what do you think, since you're not, I guess, yeah, too, I mean, too in, in, in the know with, with what the Morbius brings to the table? You know, not 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 knowing anything about the 
the character at all. Um, like, never, never saw him in any of the Spider-Man cartoons or anything like that. Didn't even know kind of what we were looking at. Right. Very, very, like, Batman uh, Begins vibe because he did the whole thing with the, the transfer and, and moving around with the bats. So it kind of gave that mm. vibe. It gave a very, very dark, you know, vampiric vibe. Yeah. Making sense. Um, but it, it, it kind of walks that line and toes that line, kind of like Venom. Uh, is Venom a villain or is he a hero? Right, um, right. I wasn't able to pick up what he is from this, mm-hmm. but I think it's also from the perspective of what you uh, what you foresee. So for me, I I get that Venom was a villain, um, but I always kind of liked him more in that Batman anti-hero role. So maybe that's what they're going for with this. Right. You know, you see the Spider-Man stuff in the back, uh, so I don't know if that's a call to Sony getting Spider-Man back. Um, and then, of course, Michael Moore. was that Vulture that we Got saw at the end? Like, is guy, that man. Vulture? Exactly. Or is that just- like, when I saw that then, I was like, what is happening right now? I'm like, I see what they're trying to do, but yeah, it, just, it brings a lot of questions to the table. It's like, I mean, I would assume so. Like, he, you know, he looked like he was doing something mischievous. Like, when'd you get out of jail? If that is Vulture, you know, it brings a lot of questions to the table. So it's like, you're trying to trap me into watching the movie. Also, I feel like you kind of spoiled something that could have been saved later on for the movie if you really want to go see this movie. The, the confusing part is, is like, so the Spider-Man stuff, they've got theirs, but then when you incorporated Venom, it's like, so are you shouting out the studio or are you trying to say that now he's coming in? It's all a ploy. It's all like, it's all like false advertisement. First of all, I don't know if it's going to work. Second of all, uh... You're setting up a, a, a weird like anti-hero or just like the villain universe to figure out what's going on and you're missing like the heave component even though trying to bring it back in which i don't they can make it fit but it's not gonna make any sense because honestly you need you need spider-man to make venom but they didn't yes. have him so well, that's why i'm like watching that when i watched venom the other year i was like it's gonna be so much better if y'all just you know did the right thing and let the MCU have freaking Venom, just like you know, we're gonna keep Venom and all the other Don't get me started on that. Don't get me started on it, that. It makes no because sense. It, it, a throwback, you know, to the Maximum Carnage uh, video game. Yeah. What's, what's very unique about that? It's one of the best Spider-Man games I've ever played. Mm. Um, what's unique about it is you can play as either Spider-Man or Venom. Right. And Venom, when you play, it takes place in San Francisco, which mm. is where the movie was. Right. But you still knew that there was a history between Brock and Parker. Exactly. When they threw uh, Venom out in there, there's no, like, they don't necessarily have to have a call out, but they could have had him get fired from the Daily Bugle and had some mention of Parker. You didn't even have to say Peter. Could have just had it, and then it could have made sense why he was in San Francisco. Is it Tom Hardy? Yeah, Tom Hardy is. Yeah. So, I mean, he did a good job for what it was, but that movie should have been better. Redirecting towards this one, um, Leto is a, is, a, is a huge method actor, from what I understand. He mm-hmm. really gets into a role. Um, that's how to be kind of poking fun a little bit of how he looked walking with the crutches and then he was yeah. sitting straight up it's like uh, maybe that's just me but um, you can tell that he was into the role not knowing anything about it I mean I'm interested in seeing it but I think the stuff that's around the MCU right now makes it very very like nobody knows what to make of this it's like hey are you a part of this or are you not? With Spider-Man in general, like if you, if you were to look at it again, or if you if you happen to catch it the first time, like that Spider-Man didn't look like Spider-Man from the MCU. That Spider-Man looked like Tobey Maguire Spider-Man from the other, you know, Spider-Man movies, because like his suit looked like some like the old joints. So I was like, that does not make it look like Spider-Man, but that's not Spider-Man that we know. So I was gonna say murder on the background. Like some of the stuff looked kind of cool, like the whole echolocation. I did like that because that, that's that's different. Yeah. Um, and that was, you know, it, 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 it's just a very different uh, approach to a, a superhero or anti-villain or, or anti-hero, rather. Right. Whatever the case may be, that's a very different spin. So I, I can dig that. Like, that that's a cool thing. Uh, and he didn't take too much from Bats, um, because then I think it would be more kind of flirting on that line of, of Batman. Even though he really didn't have anything, like, yeah. to give with Bats, more or less the, the aesthetics. But still, it's a very, you know interesting character I'll, I'll, I'll give it that what makes me hesitant on this uh from from everything is what the studio did with us with venom exactly um, I, i'm extremely hesitant like i was amped for venom just because that's you know that is my guy if you will um now i, I wasn't able to catch it in theaters i saw it at home 
Uh, Venom's an at-home classic. You know, that, 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 that's what I'm going to say. It's an at-home classic. Right, uh, right. From the teaser trailer right now, I'm going to say, like, you know, uh, it might be an at-home classic. No, I wish you that you were saying, yeah, yeah. Uh. It might be a good thing on a Saturday night. Um, but that's because of what the studio did to me uh, with Venom. Could have been better, but this is just a teaser, like you said. Maybe more is going to be released, but hopefully not too much more. Because um, it was very interesting to see the full turn of his face at the very end of it. Yeah, it um, did look really good. Now, if that ends up being the full turn at the end, I think that's a cool way to have towards the end of the film versus us seeing all that stuff. And that was like the first 45 minutes. And then that very first one we see his face turn, that's like middle way through the movie. And then it's like, well, what y'all doing with the rest of the movie? I will say what they did do, they got smart, smarter than they really did. You know, last promotion with really Venom, like, and Venom, like, we just saw, we, we saw everything, we heard everything, but we didn't see, you know, actual Venom. So people, you know, were outraged about this. So when they finally dropped, like, I guess, either the actual trailer or the second trailer, I can't remember. They finally did, you know, everybody saw Venom. Oh, that looks like Venom. Everybody was hype about it. Vaguely excited for it. Leto's a good method actor. I think he has the, the capability to do it. So, so let's see. All right, well, appreciate you, Ryan. You know, have you on the channel for, you know, maybe the, the new iteration of uh, the movie Messiah channel. I appreciate you uh, checking out the Morbius trailer with your boy and us being able to chop it up about it. Absolutely, man. Anytime, uh, just let me know and you know that uh, we're, we're back home waiting for you, man. Yes, sir. What do you guys think, though? Are you down for Morbius and more from the Sony Marvel Universe or whatever the hell they're trying to do? Post your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Hot Your Boy over there as well. If you like this trailer reaction, teaser trailer reaction, cool. If you didn't, probably just as confused as I am. It's your boy, Movie Messiah, Base 5. Let's ride.